thing. I'll see Hero and I'll feel better. You'll feel refreshed. I feel refreshed. Three, feel refreshed. Two, feel hydrated. One, go. But like you were saying, we are seeing Hero mm -hmm. versus Kazuya on small battlefield right now. Yeah, okay. biggest thing that um, Dark Blue is going to have to do in this matchup, which I'm sure he already knows, is just be really, really patient um, against someone like Hero, who has far, far more disjointed magic than Kazuya ever will have. Yeah, but of course, the, you know, the nice. conundrum when fighting Vivi, though, is, you know, the more space that you give them, they're going into that menu. So it's going to be a very, like, kind of footsies heavy neutral, I feel. Yeah, and it's going to be. Mm -hmm. And of course, having to deal with that Zapple as well. And Vivi right now is putting in so much work. Already 83% on Dark Blues in a uh, potential edge guard situation as well. Celerado now back on line, which means Dark Blues is going to have even that that much harder of a time nice. getting in. You're completely right. Dark Blues is look at the patience that Dark Blues is exhibiting just now, and there we go. That might be death for Vivi just from one touch. Literally one touch. That's all it takes. Now Vivi is down a stock, and Dark Blues still potentially has Rage Drive online. Yes is able to live that hit there, which means Vivi has a Rage Drive to worry about, but not shielding the second hit of the buffed up F-Tilt, meaning we're going back to even stocks, but maybe not for long, but good tech roll oh, nice out strike. by Vivi. And like I was saying, biggest thing with Dark Foods is just, it's just patience. Outspacing the Zapple and Zap family of spells, and also just outspacing any of uh, Hero's uh, horizontal spells as well. Of course, I mean that they're all, of course, in fact, horizontal. Nice push out option, really good just to get Kazuya off of you as fast as you can. There's another F toe just to from some distance. And missing the bang, missing the small uh, Zap as well. Oomph is active, I still can tell the sparkle um, animation. Ooh, went nice. for a jab jab grab right there. I like the stagger pressure from Dark Blues. Ooh, that looked like a miss input right there. Fortunately, not able to finish off the combo. Maybe gets to live a little bit longer, waits out the air dodge as well. The six frame flame flash. I'd love to see it. Ooh, alright. Another yeah, forward throw to Zapple going into. Mostly just most big creating space and distance uh, in favor of Kazuya, because like, where he wants to be is close up, catching Kira out of the whoosh Ooh. with the command grab. Yeah, just barely able to get the kill on Vivi. And, I mean, you can see Vivi has been respecting the Kazuya Reflector a lot. I mean, as I say that, though, throwing out the Kaboom. But, I mean, we haven't seen Dark Blues throw it out very much. Of course, it, it does have that very awkward input. It's really not something you can do on a reaction. Yeah, you have to read it. You have to yeah. read it. But, you know, even with that, Vivi has been respecting it for the most part. They're throwing out the Kaboom because Dark Blues was landing, didn't have time to throw out the Reflector. So, you know, that's just free pressure right there. And nice edge away from the Zapple. Now we're coming back on stage. Really unsafe. Now we're off. Also losing a uh, Rage Drive. What can we get here? Of course, you get Kazi with Rage. One touch. You've seen it kill. But will that back air kill? Yes, it will. With oomph. With oomph. 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 Yeah. Love him. I love him so much. Yeah, I feel like that just felt like a very textbook playing out of that matchup mm -hmm. where it's like, you know, the hero spends so much time keeping you out and making sure that you're not able to get in because once Kazuya does get in, you might just lose a stock. Three, two, one, go! Alright, we're going right in back with small battlefield. Pretty good stage with both characters and honestly, honestly Wush Ao Shu coming out immediately. Vivi has to be very careful of that because we have seen it before, not here, but at Waypoint where Vivi's whoosh got reflected and they died for it at zero. It would be very silly, and you can already see Dark Blues throwing out the reflector like, oh, maybe I'll have that funny thing happen again. Oh, it was just a, a slight bit too late on the inputs, but here we go again. Great tech rolling tech. out, yes, to avoid the oh, smash twice in a row. Now with another lease on life, but a forward throw, putting them off stage. They do have Accelerado, so getting back into center shouldn't be too much of a problem. Already back to the other side of the stage with the menu up. Seeing what they can find to 
really make Dark Blues work for this stocking harder. Zooming back to stage, where can Dark Blues guess where they're going to go? Kind of, yes indeed. Yeah, Dark Blues, or Vivi rather, nice. kind of got put in a bad situation nice there patience. from the zoom. Dark Blues definitely recognizes that Vivi does like to do whoosh out of shield whenever they are in a very, very face-to-face -face situation, and just shooting through it and catching Vivi's uh, trajectory off of the whoosh and freefall as well. Super good uh, awareness from him. Now, can he continue this lead? Oh, I'm sure he can. Oof. Yeah, and waiting out the accelerable movement as well. Dark Blues right now is just not phased. Brakes drive online right now. But, you know, maybe just holding on to it for a little bit, not really wanting to whiff it on an accelerated VB right now. But I think, yeah, that's death. Dark Blues went just a little bit too deep there, trying to bait out or wait out VB. Yeah, I think, I think he was definitely trying to wait out um, a possible swoosh, a down air, anything like that, because of how far DB went to catch him. But the thing is that Hero can come back from that so easily, and Kazuya cannot. So really smart on BB for that for that just just that bait option. Yeah, and Dark Blue's shaking his head right now. I feel like he's getting maybe getting a little bit frustrated. I feel like we've seen Dark Blue's just kind of run his face into a lot of BB's uh, hitboxes right now, and it's the damage is starting to pile up. And VB kind of kind of testing Dark Blues' patience right now, especially with Accelerado. Like, you know, come in. Just come on in. It, it'll be fun. We'll have a good time. Psych up F tilt yep. will be taking it. That is another rage drive that is offline for Dark Blues. Oh, Almost getting a nice that. little conversion from the laser. Didn't quite get the kill out of it. And there's a nice play Zapple. There's that 45% already on deck for Dark Blues. This is definitely possible. Zoom coming back around the center stage and something out a little bit with the, with the charging up of Frizz. Trying to get the down B command grab. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, that's no mana. That's no mana for VB, but able to get the uh, able to get the forward air, putting a little bit more into the bank. Dark Blues shaking his head with every hit. Falling out, we should be fine with Kus No, Kasush would have been able to bring Vivi back. Unfortunately, was looking for the zoom instead as a safer option. Right. Wrong way, Kaboom also doing very big for Vivi. This is actually a pretty much an even game. If you really want to think about the fact that Kaze has Rage Drive active, and Vivi has Oof active as well. Ooh. Oh, and the shield break as shield break. well. Alright, only going for the F, the F smash. I wanted to see another Kazap. The flashy finish of Kazab. Right. I would I would have gone for magic burst. Be extra about it. You would have just pulled it. I would have just I would like down be all that it would that it would have been in there. Nah, with my look I would have gone metal slash. <laughs> <laughs> that six percent damage, baby. Hell yeah. No, it's like one point two or something. Yeah, I just want I just want to commend Kazia of Kazia. Dark Blues. <laughs> Dark Blues' patience throughout, throughout most of the match uh, as well. Just because I know in the second stock, he did start getting a little bit more frustrated and a little bit, you know, not careful of the distance that he has to respect between himself and of MVV's hero. But almost bring it back, which is a little bit not aware of how low your shield could be when Oomph hits it once. Look, yeah. already halfway done. And one more backer. Yeah. Shield. Shielding. Yeah. Boom. Bop. He actually might, yeah. Yeah, Dark yeah. Blue's already standing up to like. Man was like, yeah, I can't mash out I'm of that. Getting, I'm at 100 something. I'm getting oomph F smashed. Good night. Goodbye. Yeah. What What do you do? But I've seen that. I've seen Vivi hit those way more often. Like people, like people who aren't aware of their shield being at like dirt percent, and then mm -hmm. Vivi just hits it once more with oomph yeah. active. Because although the first hit doesn't like, of course, break shield unless you have both oomph and psych up. That second hit absolutely will. Absolutely, yeah. You gotta wait it out. Always have to wait out those those uh, those twelve seconds of oomph and psych up. I'm sorry, oomph and accelerado and bounce.